Hello everybody, my name is Promise. About six years ago, give or take, I played a game called Mini Metro on the channel. It was a delightful little puzzle game about building out metro lines to connect people from point A to point B. It was simple enough to understand, but as the needs of the city grew, it became increasingly complex and difficult to master. Very fun little game. Well, as of today, the developers of Mini Metro have released a new game called Mini Motorways, and they've offered to sponsor me to play this game today for you guys, and I'm happy to accept. Now, in concept, Mini Motorways is pretty similar. We still want to build out the transportation infrastructure to get people from point A to point B. But this time, we are going to be using city roads and building around a city. And the roads come with some new mechanics, including traffic, lights, uh, roundabouts, motorways, etc. in order to make things increasingly complex. And as the city's needs grow, this game seems simple enough, but can get pretty darn tricky. So I'm looking forward to playing this. Let's go ahead and jump into a new game. Now for fun, let's try playing in Beijing. Right, Beijing, of course, one of the largest cities in the world. It's gonna start off very, very simple for us today, but it will be getting more complex as it goes. So to start off, we have a house. And from a house, we have people who wanna transport to a building of the same color, in this case, a red house, to a red store over here. We're gonna take these houses, and we're gonna simply connect up a couple of roads and encourage people to transport from their homes to the desired stores. Down here in the bottom, you can see that we have currently 22 road pieces to place down. I can place them down or I can delete them, but uh, eventually we will run out of new pieces of tile. There, this is not gonna be an issue in the beginning of the game. Eventually though, you may find that any inefficient pieces of road are going to have to go, making you rethink your entire transportation network. Planning efficiently is going to be important, but to start off, no, not too bad, very simple. Let's go ahead and speed up time and I'll show you how things are gonna get more complicated. Now, what do we have here? Another store has joined up with another house. Fascinating. Well, seems like we're gonna have to go ahead and connect up some more people. Now, I believe that these people can go to their respective stores as long as it is the same color, but oh, what's this? Now we have a blue color to concern ourselves with. Well, that does complicate things now, doesn't it? And now we're gonna go ahead and build out some roads like this, all right? So blue, we're gonna travel to blue, and red, travel to red. As time goes on and you survive week after week, you will gain some new perks for your city. For example, we could build out a bridge and get 20 more road tiles, which is good because I only have two remaining, or we could get a roundabout and 20 road tiles. Roundabouts, of course, being one of the most efficient methods of letting traffic um, kind of cross intersections as opposed to traffic lights. So maybe we wanna use one of those. Let's pause time for a second and let's think about where this is going to go in the future. I would not be surprised if in this city eventually we're going to find that this becomes a major traffic point. I wouldn't be surprised at all. So maybe what I want to do is get rid of some of the roads in this area and instead try placing down a little roundabout, right? And we can extend the road out like this. And there we go. People will be able to transport across intersections without interrupting each other too much. Now, at the beginning of the game, I don't imagine this is gonna be too much of an issue. I mean, we don't have a whole lot of cars on the road to begin with, right? So, so far, not really that big of a deal. But eventually, oh, it's going to be a very big deal. Ah, third color has been added. What do you know? It's almost as if I was right. Let's go ahead and add in a couple more points onto the roundabout. Now, this gets a little bit ugly and nasty. I'm gonna go ahead and try to join it up over here. This way, uh, people don't have like five intersections going into the same roundabout. I can only imagine that's going to get a little confusing. Wish I could do the same thing over here, but oh well. So there we go. Now we're already connected, ready to go. Didn't take me too many more road tiles, and it's not going to interrupt the flow of traffic much. Thank you, roundabouts. Now as these people are transporting to their little respective shops, why do we see these little pins popping up? Well, that is effectively my score. Whenever we are successfully can deliver a person to and from a place, we will gain a pin. The more pins you get, the higher your effective score, right? Let's see, do I want traffic lights or do I want a bridge? You know what, I'm gonna take a bridge just in case we find that we do need to cross a bridge in some time in the near future. No idea where we would need that, but I also know that I don't need a traffic light right now, so that's okay. Fun fact about these houses, by the way, if you click on them and drag off this direction, you can change their direction. You cannot do that with stores, so that can be a little bit of an annoyance. 
Let's see, another little blue house has popped up. Okay, that's not a big deal. It already hooks up nicely to my existing infrastructure. It's just going to increase the traffic, but that's why I placed a roundabout there. Oh, a new color. Now we have green, fun. All right, tell you what, let's go ahead and create a little intersection right along here. We're gonna join these houses up together like so, and then create a new little way through this way. Now, I don't really care about red houses being able to travel over here. They'll always go to the nearest point if they can. But uh, I do think I need to have some way of green getting across. Now, this is now becoming an area where maybe a, uh, maybe a roundabout could make some sense. Ooh, fun fact, we also now have white as a color. And it looks like they want to get over here. This means I'm going to need to place down a bridge. Good thing we got a bridge, which can go across this little river right along here. Running out of uh, bridges or motorways or some way to get over bridges can be a serious issue. Now, how do you lose the game? Well, actually, let me first choose the motorway here so I can show you what I'm talking about. But uh, how you lose the game is if people cannot get to their desired destination within a certain amount of time. If a store is unable to receive anybody for a very long while, well, then you'll just outright lose the game, and obviously, that's no fun for just about anybody. Now, if we wanted to, what we could do is place down a motorway, let's say right here, for example, and then drag this across right over here. What does this do for us? Well, it lets light blue have a faster method of getting to a light blue store without interrupting the traffic around this roundabout. Now, at the moment, I'm not feeling too worried about the motorway. I don't feel like I need to use this, but that could work for us. Ah, what's this? Now, if we had an extra bridge, then maybe we would want to go ahead and just go directly across the lake for the fastest possible solution. As is, I think I'm going to go ahead and simply connect this up like so and hopefully this guy can get over to his desired store easily enough. Let's go ahead and drag this down. It's only gonna get more complicated from down here, so be ready for it. Do we wanna make this into another area of roundabouts? Do we think that that would be beneficial? Not necessarily. I'm actually expecting this area is gonna become increasingly more and more difficult to work with. What I might do is right click and drag and delete some of these roads. Now, they're gonna show themselves up right here until the last car that already was planning on using them has gone away, right? But maybe I can place down a roundabout right here and that might be a better spot to have a roundabout. So let's see if I can connect you up kind of like, eh, I don't know if I necessarily like this. What about like this? There we go. Okay, so now we may have a much more functional roundabout in order to try and keep traffic going. Gonna take a second for everyone to kind of figure it out, but red, where there are five houses that want to get down here, now will quickly be able to get across without having to wait for any sort of light or anyone else already making a left turn. Okay, I've taken myself another roundabout in the last upgrade, passing by a motorway, because right now I don't need a shortcut. You guys ever played full city builders like City Skylines? If you have, you understand that road management is perhaps one of the most important aspects of designing a city, right? These are the lifeblood of a city, right? So people have to be able to get from point A to point B quickly and efficiently without causing any other sort of congested backup. If you can't do that, well, then a city is almost always going to get sick. This is really just taking that same exact concept, but it's turning it into a pretty fun little arcade style of a game. That is to say, not like some giant you know, campaign, it's you get in, you play a game, you get to the highest possible score you can, and well, then you start over and you try to do it a little bit better. Okay, more red houses over here, but now, interestingly, we have a way for them to drop off kind of quickly. That's an interesting change, I wasn't expecting that. Let's see, we'll go ahead and continue having blue go this way. Oh, and now there's another yellow over here, fascinating. So I need people to be able to get to this destination, even though most of the yellow houses would probably prefer not to. Let's try creating another little way to go over there. Same over here. We could join these guys up, but there's no point. Red only will ever want to go to red. Yellow only to get to yellow, so we're not gonna worry about that. Week six, what else do we want? Another motorway or another roundabout? You know what? I think I'll stick with the roundabouts. Thank you, they're doing great. Oh, and a green uh, little store has popped up over here, okay. So these greenhouses might go over here, they might go over here. Ah, now we're running into some fun issues. Green way over here now, huh? Yeah, these guys are gonna have a hard time getting over this direction. This could be a great example of using a motorway in order to try to speed things along. What if, for example, uh, I either place a motorway immediately over here, or better yet, something over, let's say, here? Let me see, I'm gonna drag a motorway right here. And we're gonna create a fast little shortcut to get right along over here. I think this will be a faster way for green to get from point A to point B without too many issues. 
not gonna cause a lot more traffic congestion, and it really wouldn't surprise me if Blue would benefit from faster ways of getting over to this store as well. So that works. Another white store has popped up over here. Honestly, this shouldn't be any more uh, trouble on my infrastructure. I take it back, there it is. Now we found the little hitch. All right, so these guys are gonna wanna get across. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they're gonna have to get all the way across the city like this. Ooh, and also, we are now gonna have to create a new little street. This is a nasty little way to have to waste a lot of road tiles. Good thing I picked up plenty more. Another yellow house over here, more white houses. Good Lord, you guys keep throwing more at me. All right. Yep, 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 definitely starting to get more complicated as time goes on. And yep, more people wanting to go up to these red stores over here as well. Oh, more white houses, okay. Uh, oof, uh, okay, how about you go up over this way? There we go. All right, I think everyone's connected. Let's get myself another motorway. I do think that'd be beneficial. Am I missing a house somewhere? There's a white one right here. Any others that I'm missing at the moment? I don't think so. We could place down another motorway, which would speed some things up. For example, if I'm seeing myself getting too much congestion right here, it might be worth placing a motorway to get over here and placing it somewhere over here, closer to the white stores, right? Could be a thing. Not sure I need to do that right now, but it could be a thing. Oh boy, they really do just keep tossing more and more white houses over here. And now we're, I just very briefly saw something right there that was showing the timer, the countdown before people can take away some of these pins. Otherwise, we're going to lose the game. So white is not getting here fast enough, despite the fact that I'm not seeing huge amounts of traffic congestion. So I think we are gonna try placing a motorway. Let's try placing it right up over here, I guess, kind of going over the city. This is going to be a great shortcut for all these white cars, and it's going to relieve pressure pretty much everywhere else. As far as some remaining roads, um, oh boy, we have more roundabouts we could make use of. Uh, I could, blue is getting complex as well, but this is why we have the motorway. If I place down a roundabout, let's say over here, is this going to do me any good at all? It might because what I might do is actually try to relieve some pressure of red cars traveling all the way down here, and blue cars as well, and instead allow them to travel up like this, and like this, and then we have a few extra road pieces, so maybe we can afford to do something like this. Boom, there we go. All right, let's kind of see if that's gonna work out for us. Should make it a little faster to travel along this major corridor right over here. But this area is starting to get congested, but there's no space for a roundabout. That's one of the issues with roundabouts is uh, they do tend to take up a little bit more space between buildings, which right now we don't have. This neighborhood being a little suburb is so far not causing too many issues. I'm not really worried about it, so we're gonna ignore you. Uh, red over here, already connecting up right away. Good, good, good. How are we doing over in this area? This area appears to be struggling. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of some of the roads over there. And see if we can place down a new roundabout. Can't be placed there? Really? None? Mm, I don't know if I like that. Really? No? Oh, yes, 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 a roundabout. Okay, hang on. Yeah, we're starting to struggle a little bit. All right, I've got over a 1,000 score. I mean, we're doing okay in terms of score here. This has been a pretty good run for me so far, but... It's, it's getting tougher. It's definitely getting tougher. Uh, can you guys properly all connect back up, please, and thank you. Motorway from here over to here, question mark. Maybe. Yes. We'll try that and see if that improves things at all. Of course, now light blue's way over here, too. Week 11. Uh, you know what? Traffic light time, I think. We can go ahead and place the roundabout here, and that should not interrupt traffic pretty much at all. So we're having serious traffic issues here. I'm going to place down a traffic light. I can't because it's a motorway. Uh, okay. I'm going to place a traffic light right up here. Okay. So we can encourage some people to be able to go across along this way. I don't know if I want to place two traffic lights right next to each other. I can only see that being a problem. Traffic light right here. Maybe we're kind of hitting a gridlock point. So now we're in trouble. Now we're in a heck of a lot of trouble. I'm sensing the end approaching. I really am. Um, let's see. I have plenty of road tiles. That's the one thing I've got going for me. So I'm going to continue trying to use roads and T intersections. But this is now the area that's about to get me killed. Nope, never mind. Green's about to get me killed. Everyone's stuck on this little roundabout. I think this roundabout was a mistake. Ooh, boy. All right. So the end is coming. We're about to fail right along over here. We, we kind of did pretty well. I think our final score is going to be somewhere around 1,300. Yeah, 1,321 commuters. We survived for 80 days.
All right, well, that was a pretty good first attempt. Let's see if we've unlocked anything new and exciting. Um, we have access to Dar es Salaam. This could be kind of fun. Or maybe we go ahead and move on to Los Angeles. Yeah, let's play on Los Angeles. This is a classic Californian city, of course. I'm gonna try one more map and see if we can do any better this time around. Let's turn this house around and connect it up just like this. Okay, turn on time, speed things up, and we wait for things to get more complex. Okay, now we've got a few different colors to work with here. So red, blue, and yellow. Place down an early roundabout in an area that I anticipated was going to become an issue. Might change my mind on that a little bit later. We do start with one bridge at the beginning of every game. So you won't find yourself in a situation where you have a house placed over there and it's literally impossible to take care of it. It's just one bridge may end up not being anywhere near enough. Uh, let's see, we're gonna try doing something kind of like this, I guess. The one thing that I would say is really important that probably was very easy to overlook is I think it's very important to redirect your houses and don't be afraid to change that again later if necessary. That might end up becoming really important for us at some point. I guess the rule of thumb here is anytime you see a place where three colors have to intersect, maybe that's gonna be a good uh, area to place down a roundabout. In this case, I've only got red and light blue going through this area, but I would not be surprised if we're gonna get more in the future. Over here, I know that red, yellow, and dark blue are gonna be going through this area. But right through here, oh, I already know it's just gonna be some yellow and some red, nothing else to worry about, no light blue, you know, nothing to worry about there, so that's kind of what I'm wondering. There's probably a good meta, a good rule of thumb that you ought to follow when playing this game. I just don't know what it is yet but I'm having fun trying to figure it out. Okay, now we have a few more red houses over here. Still shouldn't be too much trouble getting where they need to go. There's another red shop on the far side though. Let's get another roundabout just in case. I'm looking for any potential traffic issues. So far, everything's flowing as intended. So light blue is guaranteed to come from here and travel either up this way or across the bridge. So I could see some traffic congestion building up over here. Yellow guaranteed has to cross the bridge. Red sometimes will cross the bridge. It depends on where they're trying to go. I suspect these four will almost always go here. The big issue I'm seeing right now is red, if they want to go all the way over here, are gonna have a bit of a problem. So there needs to be a faster way to get from this red over to this red store. Or maybe a way from this light blue to get up to this light blue a little faster too. <laughs> There's a lot of different options here. I think this bridge is going to rapidly become a major choke point though. Oh, and now we have green, but that's the easiest green I've ever seen. So it turns out it's easy being green, who knew? Ah, now we have a yellow store over here. All right, so this is gonna complicate things. Um, we could probably, oof, okay. We could probably build out some roads that go all the way out over here. And this will likely become an important area for me in the future. That said, um, wow, yes, they are really dunking on me with these yellow houses over here. Okay, fun. Uh, I'm gonna get another bridge, because that might be important. Um, we're gonna try to instead curve you guys around. Oof. Yeah, this, this one particular yellow house shows a bad spot to lift. But there we go, we can get that all connected. I might... The thing is, I'm not sure that a bridge would be that much more efficient than what we've already done here, but I guarantee you this is going to become an issue at some point. Oh, get another yellow store. Okay, well, yellow is probably only going to have to connect up to some more yellow over here. So these two yellow houses might be able to supply the cars necessary to arrive. Of course, we could also just connect these guys, and that opens up another artery point, so let's try something like this. Oh, and a red house with... Yep, no red stores nearby connected. Okay, so maybe we do this. Light blue is having some stores placed in rather odd spots, I'm not gonna lie. Um, we can probably connect them up like this. We may need a motorway in order to deliver, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. In order to deliver light blue faster to these clusters of light blue stores like so. So we can try this and give them a direct shortcut. Another bridge? I don't think so. Um, maybe traffic lights are gonna be the way to go in this case. Let's see, I want you to actually connect up like this, maybe. So more greenhouses, okay. Getting complicated, getting complicated. Let's try to keep these at three-way intersections where possible. And goody, okay, a greenhouse way over here. There is no fast path anywhere to get to where I need him to go. That's 
going to become a problem very quickly. Where would I place another motorway that would make sense? Well, maybe off of the roundabout, believe it or not. But where would I want it to drop off? Close to this dark blue store. So we may want to do a bit of rethinking about this area in particular. I'm going to rework you guys over here. We're going to create an entry point there. Turn you around over here. Okay. And then with that, maybe we can place down a motorway that goes from here up to, let's say, here for now. And maybe we can clean this up a little bit later. But this allows me to connect things up so that dark blue now rapidly gets across. Wow, there's a lot more motorways in Los Angeles than there were in Beijing. That's for dang sure. Okay, but we have the shortcuts from the stuff that's really far away. Oh, crap, there's more red, uh, sorry, yellow houses over here that I missed. Okay, any others that I am currently missing? Yes, there's one right there that we need to take care of. I think we're good on most everything else. This is going to get a new color probably in a little bit. Light blue, you have a color right there. Let's go ahead and fix this. Okay. So the bridge is still proving to be a kind of major traffic area. Light blue is continuing to build out a huge suburb over here. They're segregating themselves, and I definitely don't think I approve of it. I have no more bridges to work with, but I do have one more motorway, if I need it. So far, we're mostly managing the traffic, actually, now that things are cleaning up a little bit. Yellow is struggling, and that's because yellow's way over here. And yellow doesn't have a fantastic path with which to get over to this specific store and this specific store. We can get across over here, sure. But they need a highway express to get to these two stores as well. And they're not getting it. If we placed another motorway... Hmm, ah, uh, hmm, hmm. I don't like this, I don't like this. Okay, let me think. Let's, let's get rid of a couple of things over here. Let's think about placing down a motorway. I guess we could place it there. Yeah, all right. So we do something like this. Drag you out. You do this. Drag you out across here. But where does this help me with a motorway, really, though? The answer is it doesn't yet, but it might in a minute. Let's see. I'm going to let you guys connect up over here. Place a motorway from, I guess, here up to here. This just isn't fast enough. Even with the roundabouts working for them, this just isn't quite fast enough. More yellow houses over here. Let's go ahead and get those connected. This might be more efficient. Only slightly, but it might, because this store is the one that's definitely struggling the most. And I don't think that so far this um, traffic light has done me many favors, if any. This yellow store is running into issues as well. This yellow store is running into issues as well. Red's connecting up over here. We do have some yellow houses. A uh, bridge feels like a little bit of a waste for a single house, but I mean, if it helps get yellow cycled over here, you know, okay. Getting some huge uh, traffic jams in this area, thanks to green and yellow all kind of working against each other. This is where the left turns, as I'm saying, end up becoming a problem. We can try placing down a traffic light. It might help. It really might not. Okay, this area is actually getting blocked up too. We have to try to do a traffic light in this area. Another motorway, we could set one up, but I think we're about to lose the game right here because we can't quite deliver any more yellow cars. Ah, there it goes. All right. Well, we tried, but 1,779. You know, that's a little bit better than I did last time. Okay. So yeah, the game is a fun little challenge. The procedurally generated randomized maps can sometimes throw you for a loop, and you may not always have the pieces you need when you need them, but that's where careful planning and a lot of practice comes in. Thank you all for watching, I do hope you enjoyed. Of course, if you guys would like to learn more about Mini Motorways, you can find a link to the Steam page down below. I would ask, of course, you hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.